There's one major reason why men hate women and why you might have some kind of like distaste towards women. You don't understand them. And I don't say that as an insult. Oh, you know, men don't understand women. You don't understand them because you've been fed lies. You've been fed lies through movies, through school, through every bit of propaganda you can ever imagine. You've been conditioned to believe that women are a certain way. And the reason why you hate women is because they don't act in the way that you were told they were. So one of the things that has driven me most crazy about dating coaches is their whole idea of saying all men and all women, you know, because let's be honest, all women are not exactly the same and all men are not exactly the same. People, everyone's different, so straight away. But anyway, this guy claims that all men hate women. To me, it just seems such a ludicrous claim from somebody who thinks or claims that he's a dating coach expert or you know an expert on men and women because at the end of the day all these dating coaches are so famous with so many followers and people lapping up their advice because there's all these men who are trying to get with women so all men can't hate all women <laughs> now his reasoning all men all over the world have been fed all these lies about what real women are like. You know, it's not men's fault. They've just been fed all these lies about women. So let's break down uh, a couple of the lies that this guy believes all men have been told. I just want a nice guy. To be clear, all these dating coaches get this wrong. Nobody said that women only want a nice guy. All guys should be nice. That's like the basic. We get annoyed when men think they only have to be nice and that's it. So no, women definitely like guys who are nice, but we also all like a lot of different things. Some women like men that are sporty, some like men that are farmers, and some like men that read, you know? It's all different variables in that. Women don't like the jocks and the apple. I don't believe anyone has ever said women don't like jocks. I guess, you know, he's American, it's people who are into sport, and um, that's just ludicrous. Uh, no one has ever said that to you before. And definitely no, women don't like assholes. Of course, some women pick wrong, some men pick wrong, some people are assholes, some people don't show that they're assholes straight away. You know, but women don't like assholes. <laughs> it's not a particular quality. Women are, you know, ticking on the bio. <laughs> Women aren't shallow, they don't really look at a man's appearance that much. I'm not so sure any male can pretend that he actually grew up in a world believing that no woman was shallow and no woman at all was interested in a man's looks. You only have to look around. Did you not see strip shows or, you know, with women? Like, come on, come on. You didn't know that there's a lot of women that only want tall men? Come on. Women have got so much heart and they're so nice and kind to everyone. Again, how um, would anybody um, manage to make a whole world of men believe that women are always kind? <laughs> you only have to look around. What, your mum never yelled at you? Your sister never hit you? You never seen girls have a fight in the schoolyard? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Let's get a little bit darker. A woman's sexual past is none of your concern and it will not change anything to do with her future relationships. If a woman does sleep around when she's younger and very beautiful when she's 19, 20, 21, 22, you should not be concerned with that if you're her husband 10 years later. You should just be happy that you got with her and you should just accept her past and it's not going to affect you at all. Okay, that really did go a bit dark, didn't it? So I guess he thinks it does matter how many partners a woman has, even if it's 10 years later, blah, blah, blah. I'd really like to know where he um, got his information from. Has he had a 10-year relationship where his partner's past was a re affected his relationship 10 years ago? I'd really just like to know where he got that idea from. But the truth of the matter is that's not a lie 
and most men are, don't have an issue with their partner's um, history. Most normal men. Women will stay with you no matter what. As soon as you get married, she's going to stay with you forever. Again, I don't believe all men have been falsely told by the world and in movies and school that women never, ever, ever, ever leave their partners. Again, you don't have to have a look around. I mean, I'm sure you know people that are divorced. And I did really think that um, when I seen this guy's um, hashtag, you know, there's a war on masculinity, that maybe he would be a bit different. Um, that he'd be saying positive messages and building up men and, you know, would have a different viewpoint about things and stuff. But no, no, um, he literally has just stated some really stupid stuff. He's literally come out and said, all men hate women because they were lied to in, by watching a few Hollywood movies. Which also, I have to point out this little fact, and he's never going to watch this um, thing, but I, I feel quite clever about this because, you know, his ideas are so dumb. If what he's saying is he, you know, watched propaganda movies that, you know, taught him the wrong things about girls, you know, um, taught him that girls will always be sweet and kind. I don't know what Hollywood movies he was watching. So he didn't watch Clueless. He didn't watch Mean Girls. I don't know. What, what movies did he watch where every female was nice to everyone? <laughs> no, 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 no. So you're just lying to yourself there and you're lying to all your male followers who are also lying to themselves. But okay, he's all right. All men hate women because they were lied to about what women were like. And when they grew up, they realized that women were not a Stedford wife. We weren't all robots. Okay. Yeah, I can understand. I can understand why you find that an attack on your masculinity. <laughs> Anyway, that's all I've got to say about this guy at the moment, but there you have it. This is, this is the lies that they tell themselves. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.